Okay, so we're unpackaging the uh, AC vent door custom made for the Tab uh, S320 and the CL320. And um, what you've got here, when you open up, after you remove the plastic from the box, open up the vent, you've got the weather stripping that's gonna go along the bottom here, a complete set of instructions, as well as diagrams and listing of all the tools, which I'm gonna go through with you in a little bit, as you can see. And we've got all the screws needed here. It comes with two backing plates, four screws, washers, lock nuts, which you're gonna to need to install over your AC vent. So all this stuff is included with the kit. The only thing you're going to need to purchase is a tube of caulk, which I'll get at later. Uh, to show you uh, the tools that you're gonna need, it takes a little bit of handyman skills, but not much. It's easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. First thing you're going to need is a power drill, a 3 16 bit. You can use a, uh, a box wrench, which is 11 32nd size. It's all in the instructions telling you the sizes, or a socket. I prefer a socket. It's a little bit easier. Um, standard Phillips head screwdriver, an S1 square driver. Um, most of the tab screws are this type, so you should probably invest in one of these because you'll need it on the road someday anyways. Um, as far as caulking the outside, you can use either the, the typical DAP caulk or the caulking gun. I prefer the caulking gun. It leaves a nice clean bead, uh, but it does. it's a little bit wasteful. But if you have some around the house, maybe you can use it. Um, but that's what we prefer here at, the, at, the, at our shop. So. Um, with that being said, we're going to get into the first step, which is removing the air conditioning unit on the inside. Um, again, your instructions show all of this step by step on page three here. We want to kind of give you a visual of how it really looks in real life going through the installation so it, you feel more at ease on doing this. Okay, John back here. We're getting ready to remove the air conditioning unit. That's the first step of this install. Uh, don't be intimidated by it. It's very simple. It just simply sides out, slides out. Um, what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna use the S1 square driver and remove the two screws and the air conditioning bezel here. And I usually just loosen them enough to be able to pull the frame off. And there's only two of them, so that's a good thing. So now this is off. This just pops right off like this. And as you can see, it's very simple to uh, remove. We'll put that aside. And uh, as you'll see with the air conditioning unit, this just is going to lift up and it's going to slide out. It's a little heavy um, for some people, but if you need help, you probably have a second person under to shift, it, shift the weight of it. So what we do with these two feet here, actually come above that tray and we'll slide the unit out as so pick it up and I angle it out just a little bit and it just sets down very simply and very easily just like that now you've got complete access to your air conditioning compartment the factory has left a lot of debris in here I found I, I suggest you get a shop back and, and vacuum out this because the drain will clog people have complained about that in the past so that's what that's what it looks like and um, let's get started on the outside. All right, so the next step here is, uh, is the pre-install. Um, you're gonna have to drill these holes per the instructions in the AC vent there. And to do that, you'll take your drill as somebody's holding it up to the, uh, to the unit and you'll drill through this outer hole into the smaller hole and all the way through the wall of the RV. And um, this outer hole is a little bit larger um, so the screw head can fit through like so, and it's gonna, it's gonna actually adhere to the inside of the tube frame. Before you do that, you need to take this 5 16 nut driver, pull this machine screw off like so, and it takes a few turns. It's a little tricky, but it comes right out. And this actually allows this lid to, uh, to flip up freely, so you can get the drill in here and get a, get a straight square hole against the coach. And that's very important because if you don't do that and you drill it crooked, it's gonna be an issue when you mount the thing up. So um, that being said, the way these mount is the spreader plates go on the back and your screw goes in like this through the hole. Then you've got your spreader plate 
on the inside of the wall. I'm going to try to show you this as best I can. Then you've got a washer, like so. Then you've got a lock nut. And that's basically the assembly. Um, your wall is going to be in between. There's going to be a bed of caulk in here for, uh, to seal the weather, uh, weather strip. And that's it. And then once you um, put that up, these holes that are in the um, frame, which you see what you're here, are going to get covered by this uh, weather strip. And what you'll do is you'll just basically, this one's taped up from the basically on here these and they just stick on and it looks just like this we left these bottom and top ones off so you can drill a hole and do the install um, that's pretty much it the next step is we're going to move this over to the coach i'm going to get my helper over here and we're going to go ahead and drill some holes okay so chuck and i have got this um, this unit lined up square to the ac vent i'm going to go ahead and drill the holes all the way through the coach um, so the best thing to do is is make sure you kind of eyeball it to every corner to make sure it's nice and square. I'm going to go ahead and drill the first hole. And it's pretty simple because it's thin metal. Remove the frame so we can get a nice clean hole on this. Bring out the power a little bit. On the inside, there is an aluminum frame that you're actually going to bolt into. So we actually have to drill through the vent, the fiberglass, and the insulation, and the inside metal. There we go. First hole done. And that's all the way through there. So that screw is going to hold it in place while we uh, do a second hole here. And you want to make sure your corner is on and everything's square. And we're going to go ahead and all right, ready? All right, that looks good. And Chuck's gonna line this up again. We can get after the top holes. Ready? Okay, now we're gonna start the top holes. Square that up. Make sure everything's lined up again. It's always good to double check. Goes through a lot easier because there's not a metal uh, bar to drill through on the inside, hence the backing plates. Okay, all four holes were drilled, and we're ready to uh, caulk it up and install it. Okay, so the next step prior to mounting is we're going to go ahead and run a bead of caulk using a General Electric uh, silicone. It's actually a silver metallic caulk, which you can buy at Home Depot, or you can use white, whatever's convenient. But we do like the, uh, we do like the silicone caulk, because that's uh, very, very water resistant, and it sticks really well. So basically just run a bead around the perimeter, as he's doing here. And while he's doing that, I was gonna Reiterate, this product is made in the United States. It's all custom made at our shop. The diamond plate is precision water jet cut, and uh, it's, the, it's the best quality we could possibly do to make this thing last, hopefully even outlast your trailer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this up. The silicone is set up for about five minutes. We put the screws in the holes just uh, to make it line up a little easier. And then we're gonna have Chuck hold this while I go inside with the nut driver and actually um, mount the screws on. Okay. Put a nut in here, like so. And ready to drive it. Okay, and the last screw, and I'm going to wipe the caulk off so it doesn't tie up the threads of the nut. And place the washer on there. And I'm thinking driver. Right. 
It's all mounted up now. And then we'll go outside to reattach the arm and run a bead of caulk around the outside. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and attach that arm back into the frame, which holds the door open when you're using your air conditioning. On this new model, which has a powder coated frame, we uh, went to one, um, one stay there to uh, hold the door open. We didn't feel the need to have it on both sides because that way you don't have to push it on both sides when you close it. So as you can see, it's all latched up. And uh, if your AC were in and working, then you would just go ahead and run it um, to shut it, just push that to open it, pull it tight. So go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and apply the weather stripping on the bottom and the top. Pretty much peel and stick, and then you can adjust it with a uh, X-Acto knife and cut it to size. And there you have it. Um, what you'll probably want to do, which Chuck has already done while we were bolting that up, is uh, run the excess caulk around here and finish that edge so it looks good. Um, and it's pretty much ready to go. It takes probably eight hours for that to set up before you get it wet. And uh, now we're ready to go inside and install the air conditioning unit, reinstall the air conditioning unit. Okay, so next step, we're gonna install the AC. It slides back in just like it slid back out. Um, I have a second person here to help me stuff the cord in, which is easier, although you can do it yourself, just a little bit of juggling. It's not heavy, it's just a little bulky. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the unit here, and I like to pick it up from the sides. It's gonna lift back up. And as I came out, it tilts up forward a little bit into that hole. And then it slides on those little aluminum tracks in there. Back. And then Chuck's going to go ahead and stuff the cord off the side as we go. So it doesn't obstruct and get caught in the rear of the, uh, of the unit itself. Then as you see these feet under here, we lift up and it slides in there to the back. And you have to push it in a little bit like so and then it actually these feet slide down in front of the drip pan here which holds the AC in place next step is to simply put your bezel back on tighten these screws up and your air conditioning is reinstalled and that's it AC is installed we never unplugged it so there's no wiring or anything else to do just clean up okay so we're done now um, other than cleaning up a little bit of uh, residual material there, um, everything's caulked up, it's going to dry. Uh, the simple operation, you got to remember, make sure you open this before you run your AC unit because all the hot air that comes off the compressor and, and the equipment actually has to vent out of there. It will overheat your AC if you don't have this open. So go ahead and just flip that open, pull that open. Pull that tight and that's it. Run your AC, leave it open while you're camping. Um, when you want to not have a draft at night or you want to wash a coach or it just starts to rain or before you drive, go ahead and uh, close it like that. Pop your latch ring on and you're done. You're ready to travel home and pretty much that's it, installed. And uh, this does not need polishing, just keep it wash and wax like you would the surface of the coach. Pretty easy install.